the donut there, but tremendous damage potential right in this area, and it's moving right into Port Char uh, Charlotte. There's the Port Charlotte uh, area there. This is uh, the uh, Bay area here. Boca Grande right under the left eye wall right now. And down here farther to Fort Myers, you can see some bands coming in there. That band brought some wind gusts up near hurricane force. As this system moves in here, all the water is going to pile in here as well. And that's why we're going to see significant surge over the next few hours. And that surge is going to be very significant. Could be as high as 18 feet locally uh, along the uh, coast and inland inside this bay area. And you can see these little estuaries in here, these little rivers and streams. If you live up along there, watch out. It's going to take a while for that water to get in there, but it's going to crawl up those estuaries very quickly. Now, what's going to happen inland once this system gets in? Well, typically what happens with these strong ones, especially small ones, this is a small circulation, it's going to uncoil like a snake as it gets over land. It's going to weaken, but it's going to broaden in size. And so we expect it to spread uh, quite a bit of strong winds up to the north and east as it goes. And that's going to produce significant damage along the coastline. And then we're going to have a problem dealing with, with it as it moves offshore. And we'll detail some of that a little bit later. But here is the potential for hurricane force winds all the way up to Orlando as the system then moves offshore just to the south of Jacksonville somewhere. And uh, so you can see also some tropical storm wind conditions. That means that you could potentially have a lot of power outages, trees down and power lines down, all the way across the Florida Peninsula, not to mention very heavy rain with it. So even though we're concentrating on this for the rather serious and devastating damage to the area, don't forget about this. If you live in the middle of the state or the northeast portion of the state, it's coming your way as well over the next few days. Now, one, uh, one last thing we want to say about this is that as the system moves north, it's moving very quickly, and that's fortunate for one reason, is that the rainfall accumulations will be less if it's moving 20 miles per hour. It still could produce significant flooding, but the bad news is it can spread the wind, the strong winds inland very, very quickly, and that's what we're concerned about, significant tree damage all along the path. Let's get back to the studio.